<laughs> I believe in climate change. I think it's really real. I just don't believe the fear that they're trying to sell. November 2024, you know who to vote for. Used to be loved by celebs, Oprah, Whoopi, Goldberg. Then I ran, everyone turned their back. But like that traitor Arnold, I'll be back. At this point, you may be thinking, this all sounds pretty good. Except pluralism depends on everyone following a certain set of rules. That's what you said, Obama. What happens when the other side has repeatedly and abundantly made clear they are not interested in playing by the rules? It's a problem. And when that happens, we fight for what we believe in. There are going to be times, potentially, when one side tries to stack the deck and lock in a, 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 a permanent grip on power, either by actively suppressing votes or politicizing the armed forces or using uh, the judiciary, the criminal justice system to go after opponents. And in those circumstances, pluralism does not call for us to just stand back and say, well, I'm not sure. That's okay. In those circumstances, a line has been crossed, and we have to stand firm and speak out and organize and mobilize as forcefully as we can. But even in those circumstances, it's important to look for allies in unlikely places. And too often we assume that people on the other side have monolithic views, when in reality some of them may share our, our beliefs in st sticking to the rules, observing norms. And that's why when it's appropriate, it, there is nothing wrong with reinforcing and lifting up elected officials or voters your neighbors, your friends, who you may not disagree with anything, but they do agree with you on that. Because they may be able to exert influence on people they've got relationships with within the other party.